Tomo, a week off for uh, Easter. Did you enjoy a long weekend? Yeah, it was lovely. Managed to have uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, uh, which was nice. Managed to go back to see some friends from, from school and play a little bit of golf in the sun. So it was lovely. I saw the golf. I also saw you spent some nice time with your mother and grandmother. I did, yeah. It was nice. My grandma was recently gone in a home, so it was lovely to go see her and spend the afternoon in, uh, in the sun. Have you finally come down from the Newcastle win? You were the star of the show that night. I think the feeling was more... I don't know, I think the feeling was more relief than anything. It wasn't really exuberation, it wasn't really like all joy and excitement because we're in a position as a squad that we're not happy with. Um, to be able to go and put a performance in like we did against Newcastle, we will take massive positives from it, but we have to realise that the job's not done yet. Mathematically, we're not, we're not safe. Um, there's still possibilities and permutations that could occur that, that could lead us in trouble. So all we can focus on is what we do as a squad now. We've had a really good week's prep last week, a few days off for the week for, the, for Easter, and then we've been back in this week. We've had two really good days training so far, and, and we're really excited for the challenge that Bristol are going to present. You talk about Bristol. Everything I've heard and everything I've seen is just Bristol, Bristol, Bristol. It's all one game, isn't it? As cliche as it is, it's just the next game. It really is, and it, as you say, it is a cliche. However, we have to respect Bristol as a team. They've, done, so they've had some great performances this year, especially against us in, in previous rounds. Look, we're, we're a different team now to where we were then. Um, it's going to be a totally different occasion. We're at home, we're at Welford Road. We pride ourselves on our performances at Welford Road. We know we've had a couple where we've slipped up, but on the whole this year, that's been a place where we know we can go back to and, and put a performance together. The fans will, will be huge for us this weekend. I know they'll come down. They were superb in Newcastle. The away fans, they travelled a long way to, to give us that push. And I know that they're going to be the 16th man for us this weekend. It only comes back, so you, you I guess you, you battle for the eighth spot or you, you add some depth as well in the back row. Yeah, look, we are extremely lucky here in our back row. When one drops out, someone else drops in and, yeah. and we push each other in training and we make sure that whoever has the opportunity to wear the shirt does it justice and whoever gets the opportunity to wear it the next game, they've got the backing of the, the whole back row squad and we just, we just hope that we do well as a unit. You talk <clears> about <throat> training. Um, I was watching you earlier. You, you never seem to stop talking. I know, <laughs> off, the, off the pitch, that is obviously annoying for a lot of people, but on the pitch, you're constantly in the ear of someone or you're building other guys up or you, even when you come off the pitch, guys are blowing hard and they're, they're struggling out there after working hard, you're still going, you're still building people up. Yeah, I think I've got a bit of ADHD or something. No, um, <laughs> so the, the truth is, I just feel that my, I, I feel that my role within a squad is energy. I feel that as a back row player, we should be the ones leading the talk, leading the communication. We've got the front five that does a hell of an effort, sort of scrum, line out uh, and things like that. So sometimes they need a bit of a breather. And I think as the back row, you need to be the link player between the backs and the forwards. So we can relay the messages passed in by George to the centres, you know, people like Matty Tamur, Carl Eastman, you know, they can pass messages through me and I can, I can talk back and forth and, and try and have that link as seamless as possible. Um, as for the talking too much, yeah, probably off the field too much, but on the pitch, I think it's invaluable. <laughs> It talked about Bristol, but finally, looking at this weekend, obviously, not necessarily revenge for the last outing against them, but it, it, it was a, a very disappointing loss away to them. It was, and this isn't about revenge. Yeah. Um, if it's about revenge, we would be beating a different drum, but yeah. we're not. We're looking at us. We're, we're purely focused on, on us this weekend. We're making sure that Bristol are coming to our home pitch. They're going to be in for a hell of a battle. We, we didn't turn up at their place, and, and we owe them a huge amount of respect because they're a great team. But at the same time, they're going to have to respect us on our home pitch because we're coming out fighting and we've got a point to prove. Thank you, sir. Bye.